Hater. Well, today I'm out here uh, with a uh, graph that I did, and you know, something I wanted to say uh, first and foremost. Uh, not every story ends with a happy ending, but that being said, you still have hope. And this right here turned out to be just that scenario. You know, I came out here and did a bunch of grafting. I, as everybody knows, I've done a lot of grafting this year, and I've done a total of 48 grafts this year. And out of the 48 grafts that I did, five of them did not take. So I'm happy with that result, you know, considering you know, I'm just a novice, first time ever really trying to graft. You know, it can be intimidating at times, but you know what? Uh, you never know unless you try. Anyways, that being said, this one right here was a tree that I had grafted into, and I was wanting to share the results with you. And as I said, be ready. Not every story ends happy. There you have it. I grafted that at the end of May, and it just didn't take, so it is what it is. But the stump itself is still alive because we have growth coming from around that stump at the base of it. It's trying to survive itself. And not only that, the remnants of the stump is still here in front of me. Like right here, there's a sucker right there. One over there, one right there, a couple of them there. You know, the tree continues to live on. That tree right there that I hacked down. The story behind this tree is, this tree, incidentally, it was a root sucker from years ago. And I have shared that once before. And even though it was a root sucker, it grew into an individual tree and it became a good sized tree as you can tell with the stump now I don't know if I could go into here and cut again next year and try to graft I have no idea or should I just cut it down to the ground bring my grinder out here and grind that up get rid of it all together because it just didn't turn out for me However, as I said, there's remnants of this stump still here, of this particular tree still here. These little shoots coming up is a clone of this tree. The one I stopped at right there is very, very healthy looking as far as a root sucker. That's probably one of the most healthiest root suckers that's come up up here uh, this year. That just came up this year and it's already two foot tall and it's got a lot of good girth down at the base. So I'm gonna leave that one right where it's at because as I said, you know, not every story ends uh, with a happy ending, but there's always hope somewhere down the road. And I may go ahead and do another graft next year to utilize that stock right where it's at and graft it. It's only Mm, about four foot away from this stump. Grabbed into that and see what happens. And you just never know. Uh, probably get in here and cut the rest of these suckers out of here. So all the energy goes to that one little sucker right there and let it become its own individual tree. Probably what I'll do is this fall chunk down in there to try to separate it from this stump. I don't know. I have to ponder about that. I will be leaving the cage on there to uh, keep it protected to see what will happen. Four foot from that tree is another pawpaw that is a seedling from 2016 and those two right there can stay right where they're at. You know, They'll pollinate one another as time goes on. 
anyways this was just something that I wanted to share with you that went on it's I'm gonna put the cage right back over top of it just because and just leave it alone and oh well it is what it is and you know I'll get through it anyways my name's Jim if you like what you see subscribe And don't forget to click on that bell for notifications. Y'all have a God-blessed day.